Hey, what's going on everybody? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today we're going to be taking a look at the brand new Red Magic 4K gaming monitor. You might be familiar with Red Magic for their high-end gaming phones, but uh, this is their first monitor to market, and this kind of goes hand in hand with their new Red Magic devices, given that this does have USB Type-C video in. So what we're working with here is a 27 inch mini LED backlit IPS 4K display. We've got a refresh rate of 160 Hertz. And like I mentioned, this does support USB type C video in, and we also get 90 watt PD fast charging out of that USB type C port. It supports HDR. We do have a little bit of RGB on the back, given that it is from Red Magic. It's adjustable from the OSD, but overall, I think it's a nice minimal design. And I really do like what they've done here with their first monitor to market. So inside of the box, we're going to get our power brick. This is actually a 240 watt power brick because remember, we've got 90 watt fast charging on this unit. So we need that extra 90 watts there. They also include a USB type C cable, which does transfer video two HDMI cables. And we've got a USB cable here. This has two USB ports built into the back. So we can actually plug in different accessories to the monitor itself. And over that USB connection, be it full size to your PC or USB type C to a mobile device, we can use those USB ports. It comes in really handy for devices that don't have extras on them already. I've already went ahead and attached the stand. And one thing I really love about this monitor is the cable management. We can pull this right off and all of our cables can be routed directly through the stand. So they come right through here and we can kind of route them out of the back so we don't have a jumbled mess of cables on the table. And it'll fit all of the cables we need for this unit. When it comes to the specs, we've got a 27 inch 16 by 9 aspect ratio with a resolution of 4K. It's an IPS mini LED display with 2000 LEDs, 650 nits of brightness with a peak of 1300 nits. It's got a wide refresh rate range. So this is actually really awesome for plugging in your Steam Deck. 48 Hertz up to 160. It also supports HDR 1000, 99% Adobe RGB, 99% sRGB, and 99% DCI-P3. It also supports AMD FreeSync and NVIDIA G-Sync. When it comes to I.O., we've got two USB ports, one USB 3.0 port. We've also got USB Type-C, full-size display port, two HDMI 2.1 ports, a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, and obviously we've got our power in. Now this display looks absolutely amazing. I've got it connected to my gaming PC right now, running at a 4K resolution. Refresh rate is at 160 hertz, and I know it's really hard to tell how smooth this is through a YouTube video. I'm only filming at 60 hertz, but it looks super, super fluid. The stand is fully adjustable. We've got a raise and lower function. Swivel and tilt is also here with the included stand. Now you could set this up with a vase amount if you want to, but uh, I like what they've done here with the stand. And another cool thing is this has a gravity sensor built in. So once we turn this 90 degrees, you won't have to change any of the settings on your PC to get this to match up. It's automatically gonna reorientate itself. And all I've got plugged in right now is DisplayPort. So this is really awesome and it does come in really handy if you want to plug in a mobile device. You can use this at a 90 degree angle like it sits right now and have that full display. RGB around back looks pretty good and we can adjust this from the OSD. There are a few different presets and we can actually change the color. And I'm sure with firmware updates in the future, they can add more presets and probably add more customization to the RGB around back here. The built-in OSD is really easy to control with these three buttons back here. We've actually got a dedicated signal switch button, we've got a dedicated menu button, and we've also got a dedicated gaming mode button. And of course, we've got our control knob here. It's more like a joystick, and this is kind of a must-have, especially with an OSD this deep. There's just a lot of settings to go through here, but I kind of wanted to just give you a look at it real quick. We can enable it by pressing the menu button once. We're going to control using that joystick feature around back. And once we get in here, we've got all of the basic color profile and brightness controls that you want. We can also enable DCR. You can disable HDR from here. This unit has an ambient light sensor up top, so you can use the dynamic backlight if you want to. And moving all the way down to the bottom here, our ambient lighting. So this is our built-in RGB. We've got a little front RGB uh, right under the chin there. It's kind of hard to see even in darkness, but it is there. We can change the color of that, and uh, like I mentioned, we've got some presets for the back RGB. So I've got it set up for, I think, Breathe right now, but we've also got kind of a waterfall effect. We can change the color if we want to. You can go to Pure White. There are a few settings built in with this firmware, but we could get more with updated firmware for this unit. 
But when it comes down to it, this is a gaming monitor meant to be gamed on. And uh, right now I've got it connected to my main gaming PC. We've got Spider-Man Miles Morales, 4K, very high settings, no DLSS. And it looks amazing. I mean, this mini LED display is awesome. And I've kind of set it up to my liking. I do like a little more saturation. So that's exactly what I've gone with here. But you can kind of adjust it to whatever you like. And remember, this supports G-Sync and FreeSync. So, you know, if you're getting a lower frame rate, it's going to eliminate that tearing. Something I always recommend with lower end PCs is a monitor with FreeSync. It definitely helps out with the AMD APUs. So obviously it works great with PC gaming. Now I want to test it with the new Red Magic 8 Pro. So if you're not familiar with the Red Magic 8 Pro, this is the new Snapdragon 8 Gen 2, very powerful ARM chip, and we can basically run anything we want on it from emulation up to any Android game on the market. First thing I'm going to do here is just plug it directly in. We're going to mirror the display. I've also got a keyboard plugged into one of the free USB ports on the back of the monitor. You can see it's detected my keyboard and mouse on the phone, and I can use it that way. If I want to type and use the mouse to navigate the whole operating system, I can. And again, we can always rotate this display 90 degrees and get full screen out of it. But these new Red Magic devices have something even better built in, known as console mode. And in order to enable this, all we need to do is plug the phone in over USB Type-C, and I'm going to use the switch on the side here. This is the Red Magic switch. This is going to put us kind of in gaming mode on the phone itself, but this also enables console mode over USB Type-C. And as you can see, we've got a nice little app selection screen, and it's filling that full 16 by 9 aspect ratio display. This uh, definitely works out really well with these larger displays. We can fully customize this. We can add our Android games, emulators, or basically any app you want to. Another thing I've got going here is an Xbox controller connected over Bluetooth to the Android device itself. And we can play this game with a controller on the big screen now. And yeah, all of these Android apps do scale up really nicely, especially emulators. So if you wanted to do PS2, GameCube, 3DS, I mean, this new phone here can definitely run a lot of different emulators at full speed. But you know, you don't just need a Red Magic phone to get something like this up and running. The Samsung Galaxy S devices support something called Dex Mode, which uh, works really well on a bigger display. Basically gives us kind of an Android desktop interface. And since we've got a USB Type-C video input here, all you need to do is plug it directly in. Motorola also has their own. It's called Ready 4. Huawei has one. And Lenovo even has a desktop mode on a lot of their higher-end phones and tablets now. But the final thing I wanted to show off here was Steam Deck compatibility. So I've got my Steam Deck, we've got 2% battery, but luckily this does support 90 watt PD fast charging. Unfortunately, the Steam Deck will only do 45 watts, but it's plenty to keep it up and running. And basically, we're just gonna wait a couple seconds, it's gonna detect that display, and now we can play our Steam Deck games on a big screen. And remember, we've got that variable refresh rate here from 48 hertz up to 160. And the USB ports on the rear of this will work over USB Type-C with the Steam Deck, so it actually gives us two extra USB ports, which is something that the Steam Deck needs. In my opinion, I think they should have put one full-size USB on here also. Here's Horizon Zero Dawn, 720p, low settings. That's about all we can do with the Steam Deck, given the hardware here, but it definitely looks a lot better than 720p on a Windows machine. Something about uh, the way Linux scales everything up, I personally do think it looks a little better, but you know, playing these games on a big screen with the Steam Deck is really awesome. And this works out really well for multiplayer games, especially indie multiplayer games. That way, you've got more screen real estate. Uh, you can connect a couple Bluetooth controllers, or you could go USB if you wanted to, but Bluetooth is probably the way to go. So overall, definitely think that Red Magic has done a really solid job here with their first monitor to market. This is definitely the best looking display that I own right now. And you know, until I can pick up an OLED, then I'm definitely gonna be sticking with this. But I'm super happy with it. And I know it's really hard to kind of transfer over to, you know, a camera uploaded to YouTube to show you exactly how good this monitor looks. But right now I've got Cyberpunk 2077, 4K ultra ray tracing, and it is outstanding. I mean, the lighting and everything with this mini LED display is really awesome. I cannot wait to play some of my favorite racing games on this. That's really my favorite genre, and I think Forza Horizon 5 maxed out on this is going to look really, really good. But that's going to wrap it up for this video. Really appreciate you watching. If you're interested in learning more about the new Red Magic Monitor, I'll leave some links in the description. Remember, I mean, it's basically compatible with anything. Display port, HDMI, or USB Type-C. If you've got any questions, let me know in the comments below. And like always...
Thanks for watching.